This demo will showcase how to delete data in Salesforce using dataloader.io. Dataloader is a simple yet very powerful tool that makes possible to export, import, and delete data in Salesforce. In order to delete data in Salesforce, we will need a CSV file with the IDs of the records we want to delete. As a starting point, we would recommend to use Dataloader to export all necessary data as well as the object IDs. In our example, we've been provided a CSV file of the leads we need to delete, and the file was already uploaded to Dropbox. We're going to connect Dataloader to Dropbox so we can easily access the file. Now, let's move to Dataloader and see how we can make this possible. Once logged in, we will go to the new task and click on Delete. Here we've divided the process into four simple steps. In the first step, we will select the Salesforce connection and the object we want to delete. In this demo, we are using an enterprise edition of dataloader.io, and you can see that we have multiple Salesforce connections available here. We will use the default connection and proceed with the deletion. We will search for the object type we want to delete, select it, and click Next. In the second step, we will select a CSV file that contains the object IDs of the records we want to delete. As you can see here, Dataloader provides direct connectivity to FTP, SFTP, Dropbox, and Box. We will pick Dropbox and choose the CSV file directly from our Dropbox folder. In the third step, everything we need to do is to select the field that contains the object IDs. And as you can see here, Dataloader has already done this for us. In the last step, we will see a summary of the deletion we've just created. Let's go ahead and select Bulk API, since it is faster than the default SOAP-based API, and add the notifications, so when the task is completed, we will receive an email report. Under the Advanced Settings, we can enable a serial mode by using which the batches will be processed one at a time. We will also be able to set a session timeout, as well as hard delete records, which means that the records won't go to the recycling bin and will be permanently deleted from our Salesforce instance. We will leave this as it is and click on Save and Run. When we check our email, we can see that we've already received an email report. And if we go to our Salesforce instance and refresh the page, we will see that the records were successfully deleted. When we go back to Data Loader, we will see that from here, we will be able to edit, change input, run, delete, or clone the existing tasks. Today, we've shown you how to delete data in Salesforce using dataloader.io. If you want to learn more about Data Loader Basics or how to export or import data into Salesforce, you can follow one of these links. Thank you.